Hi folks, welcome to Let's Go Car Cruising. My name's Mark and I'm a certified car nut. I go to car shows, cruise nights, cars and coffees, anything where there's an automobile with wheels, I'm there and I get the stories because the stories and the memories we make with these cars are, is where it's at. So tonight, I'm back down at the Beef Barn restaurant in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. Just a, uh, just a hop, skip and a jump off of Route 146, the Pound Hill Road uh, exit. Take a ride down. Uh, you're not going to regret coming down here, folks, because this place is jammed on a great night. Uh, they got pretty good food also. It's not just a regular uh, frozen cheeseburger on the grill. So uh, come down and check it out some night. Thanks for watching the channel, folks. I really appreciate it. Please do me a favor, click the like, hit the subscribe, and ring that notification bell. So uh, you'll see when new stuff comes out. I got a lot of really cool stuff planned. Uh, the season's Season's not nearly over yet, folks. Uh, we're going to be out there fast and furious. Again, thanks for watching, and we're going to get to it. And uh, let's go car cruising. And uh, just a sampling of some of the cars. Get your cars out. Have some fun, folks. They're still coming in here. Pretty fast and furious. We're going to walk up to the upper field and check things out. All right, uh, we're here with Chris, and... Uh, Chris is going to tell us about this really sharp 66 Super Sport Impala, right? Yeah. Yep. And I can tell by the taillights that it's the 66. Sure is. But the big lump under the hood is what really caught my attention. Yeah, the 427 four and a quarter horse motor. Wow. L72. Four speed, 12 volt, tilt telescopic power, seat, tack gauges, AM, FM, pretty loaded car. Wow, so somebody checked off all the boxes when they ordered this yeah, bad they boy. Yeah, sure did. Wow. How long have you had it? I've had it coming up on a year. I chased the car for about a year. I was on it, and finally the, the owner sold it to me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what uh, what led you to desire one of these? Uh, 66 Impala was my first car. There you go. It wasn't a 427, but uh, it still was a 66, my grandmother's car, and then uh, I've always had a soft spot for one. So when this came up, I had to have it. Hey, there you go. See, there's a story with everything. Yeah. The stories are cool. I have a lot of cars, but this is uh, one of my favorites. Yes, yeah. Soft spot in your heart, right? Yeah, exactly. And it certainly gets attention everywhere you go with it. Everywhere. Every because you don't see them. They're yeah. very rare. Yeah. Especially in New England. They they tended to... Uh, they will rot it away. The frames yeah. went. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The car, had, um, the car got restored and got put up on a rack, and uh, that's where I seen it, and that's where I bought it, up on a, in a garage up in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Whereabouts? Uh, Sterling Mass. Oh, Sterling. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, thanks for taking the time to tell me about the car. I'm going to shoot some extra uh, video of it and uh, yeah. cruise the heck out of it. Have yeah. a ball. Thank you. Thanks. All right. I'm here with Pete, and uh, Pete's going to tell us about this Willis. And... Uh, that's about all I can tell you, Pete. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I ask you, because you're the expert. This is a 52 Willys Aero. Uh, when uh, Willys, uh, they, they made the Jeeps and such like that yes. for uh, mm -hmm. World War II. When, uh, in 52, they wanted to get into the civilian market. They had a lot of the flat fendered pickup trucks and station wagons. Sure. But this is one of the cars they made uh, for the okay. civilian market. There's not many of them around. You don't really see many around. I learned about this car when I graduated college in 1995. Okay. And I moved to North Smithfield, and a friend of mine gave me a lead on a Henry J. And I went to Central Similar. Falls. Very similar. Yeah. yeah. I went that's to, what, actually, that's what I thought it was when yeah. I walked over to it. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I drove to Central Falls, and I uh, saw the car, and I, I couldn't believe it. I said, that's not a Henry J, that's a Willys. And the guy that was selling it thought it was an LS6 motor. And I remember running the, the, looking at the numbers saying, I'm not gonna tell this guy, I think he's wrong, but I think he's wrong. I don't think it's LS6. Okay. So I kept tabs on the car for a while, and uh, that, that fellow, Dave Machado, uh, sold it to a guy named Tom Dwyer out of Situate, Rhode Island, who's, uh, I think he was the chief of police in that town. And I kept tabs on him and on the car, and, uh, he then sold it. Anytime the car came available, I was either, you know, buying a house or something was going on. Life was, was never, in the way. It was never a good time to buy a car. <laughs> and uh, he sold it to a guy in Hudson, and Massachusetts, that turned cars. That was his thing. And uh, I, I knew if I didn't buy it, then the car was going to go on the internet. Right. So I bought the car, and uh, 
The motor is actually uh, a real 68 CE block L88 427. Oh. It's the real McCoy. Uh, it had a Buick switch pitch transmission in it, but I took that out and I put a uh, turbo 400 in it. Uh, my friend Mike DeBuick, he's from Central Mass Drag Racers, he okay. put the hoop in it and uh, put a, a uh, it's like a reinforced frame, custom made frame to the body with the four link in the back. Uh, it's a GM axle, chromed. I had D&D &D out of Providence actually do all the chrome work on it. Okay. Uh, rebuilt the motor. Uh, radiators from a 56 Chevy in the six cylinder position. That way it's a little bit closer. Sure. Car runs 12 fives in the quarter mile. I raced it uh, at a New England Dragway. And, uh, you know, other than that, I mean, it's a really good solid car. It's uh, an eyeball scratcher, it's like a yeah. lot of people like to say, because well, you don't I, see them often. I, I had to stop as I was walking by, yeah. and I'm like, i got to go check this one out, yeah. because uh, yeah, I like the fly. different, the unusual, and... Uh, it's it's a fast car, Mark. I was going to say, really, it looks like it's a little bit to hold on to. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, you can see inside here, too, you know, it's got the, the swing away arms for the uh, for the roll cage. Okay. Uh, Matt Smith, out of uh, Shrewsbury, Mass, he owns Nolan yes. Trim. Mm -hmm. He did this section of the seat and restuffed the seats and he put the carpet down. But the, the center sections, the door panels, etc., that was all done in 68 uh, by the guy that actually originally built the car, a fellow named Dale Johnson. Okay. The motor was purchased at Pier Chevrolet in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Wow. And uh, you know, D&D &D, uh, chromed all these garnish moldings for me. Because you can't uh, find new ones. Well, I mean, it's impossible. <laughs> right, you know, the exactly. seats are from a 64 GTO, you can tell by the spears. Okay. And, uh, oh, it's got a Hearst Auto Stick 1. That's a very rare uh, cool. uh, shifter. Uh, so what you do is, when you're at the track, you start in one position and you shift up three, three uh, notches. Okay. okay. So, oh yeah. <laughs> license plate, yeah, if you focus on the license plate, um, you can see here in the front. A lot of people might not know what that is. 1320, that's a quarter mile. That's right. <laughs> and I had a, I had a friend of mine. Uh, I'm a bit of a plate geek myself. Yeah, so. he, he, he said to me when I bought the car, he came to me and goes, oh, Pete, I'd like to get you a license plate. And he had some ties with the registry and uh, he got me that plate and it's not a vanity plate because it's an antique plate. Yeah. But, uh, That's awesome. Other than that, I mean, like I said, I knew about this car for a long time. The, the wheels are real Rodgers wheels. They were uh, the last, like probably the last two or three sets that uh, uh, that were made by uh, oh, the, the fellow that owned the company. I forget the guy's name now. But uh, but they, they, he got he, he resold the the wheel company. But okay. other than that, I mean, I put this thing together in my garage, wired it myself. You know, did a lot of work to the car. Awesome. And, uh, Wet sanded it, I think, probably like for three weekends in a row. Yes, that's tedious, you know, so, tedious, oh yeah. tedious. Yeah. But, yeah, but the end result it. is awesome. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of custom touches, a lot of fabrication. If you want underneath, I mean, there's a, there's so much that the eye doesn't see from right. the top. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I, I but that's cool. I get on it, I wail on it. Like I say, it runs 12 fives in a quarter mile, and that's with 355 gears, and I have a street stall converter in it. Yeah. If I, Took the torque converter out of my Chevelle and the gears there in my Chevelle and put them in this car, the car would be a lot faster. Because uh, this is a 4.9 inch in it. When I bought the car, I originally had a uh, had a 57 Chevy Posi rear end with welded uh, spider gears. And uh, that was one of the first things I got rid of. Right, yeah. It was just, it was done, like guys did it back in the sure. 60s, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's amazing, actually, when I... When we took it apart, it was amazing that the car stayed put together as long as it did. Yeah. But the, but the motor, I mean, the motor's worth a fortune, really, for yeah. guys that are into vets. Yes. I kept the original Wee-In intake that was original to that motor when Dale built this back in 68. I'd have no idea where the, uh, the tri-power intake is or if he even came with it when it was purchased. But right, yeah. I have the code of that motor. That's a real, that's a real deal L88 CE block. Ooh. So, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Well, Pete, thanks yeah. for taking the time to say hello and tell yeah. you about the car. And uh, thank you, Mark. Enjoy the heck out of it. Yeah, man. appreciate it. Cruise on. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. A little Sunbeam Alpine. See you show on Thank you.
I have to walk around this one a couple times to find out what it is. It's a Chevrolet. No emblems. Really nicely done. And uh, that gave it away. kinds of cars in, in, in attendance tonight folks we check them out and uh, I don't know owners must have uh, run away and gone to eat so uh, we'll just look at some cars and uh, we'll find somebody to talk to so we're here with Butch and uh, he's got this really cool Ford and I'm not too sure what year it is Butch so tell me about it 51 1951 51. Ford. okay and uh, it's had a lot of changes, I can see that. Uh, did you build it? No. no okay. I, I bought it built out of California. California. Oh, wow. Famous builder or no, something no. you found? Yeah. How'd you find it? eBay. <laughs> Isn't the internet a wonderful thing? <laughs> cool. So how long have you had it? About 10 to, 10 to 12 years. Okay, yeah, I think I've, I've seen it around a few times, but... Uh, We've, we've never formally met. So it is really cool and, and copper, so it gets a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah, copper. It's got multicolor paint job. Yeah. You can see the different stripes down the bottom here. Right, the right, grays, yeah, the fades, yeah. The, the fades of the copper paint, and it's got a candy copper hue to it. If you look at the hood, you'll see the... Yes, I can see the just the top of the fender, the it's got a little bit of a different color yep. in it, yeah. Yep. And the well. same with the dashboard, the interior. Well, that's awesome. How's it go down the road? Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Stock drivetrain ish no, or no, it's all, got, no, it's, all custom? Yeah. It's got, <laughs> it's got a nine inch Ford with a three, 302 stroker motor, 347 kilo. Okay. Gauge. So it's all Ford, though? Yeah. That keeps the Ford guys happy. Yeah. I got a few without them. Yeah. A few with Chevys in them. But this is really cool. <laughs> What's the name of it? Bad Penny. Bad, the bad penny. <laughs> now, if you look at the, no, the bumpers, yep. there's penny frenched into the bolts. Oh, okay, the bumper bolts. They're 1951 pennies, and in the back, they're 1951 pennies tails. Heads and tails. Yeah. That's you, too you look cool. At, you'll see yeah, that. I'll have to, I'll get that, yeah. That's awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to say hello and uh, tell You're me a little welcome. bit about the car and continued happiness with it, man, because that's what they're about. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're here with Carol, and she said, hey, I got a cool car, too, and girls can have cars. Right. So that's awesome. Tell us about this one, Carol. Well, this is my little Volkswagen dune buggy. I've had it for about 22 years. I've been looking for one for a long time because when my kids were small, yep. I had my brother had one. I used to steal it all the time. <laughs> but back then, you didn't have to have seatbelts. So sure. I'd pick up my girlfriend. She'd pick with her two kids, and I'd have my two kids. We put all four of them in the back and tell them, hang on to the roll bar. <laughs> hang on, we're going for a ride. We're going for a ride. Uh -huh. Of course, now we go to jail for that. Oh, God, yeah. But it's it's just, just a fun little vehicle. Yes. And every, everybody waves to you when you ride around. And, you know, and I'm, I'm going to be 83 years old, and I love it. You love it. Yep. And it's 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 all in how you feel. It, oh, It's all in young. how you feel. Keeps you young. Keep you, that's it. Well, thanks for saying okay. hi, Carol. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, continue to enjoy the car, because... That's what they're for. Okay. Thank All righty. You. Thank you. Oh, so Trans Am 77. I was told 70 is number one. Travel. That's what I was told. Ford sedan. Values. GTO convertible. 57 Thunderbird. 340 CUDA, 383 CUDA, some new <laughs> stuff, and some old stuff out in the back here. Pretty cool. And an Australian Falcon. And yes, the steering wheel is on the right hand side. Says he just bought it. Work in progress and uh, he's having a ball with it. Pontiac Trans Am. And some 
same side of Mercury Comet, I believe. We have an AMC. Chevy OBS pickup. And a Buick convertible. Pretty sharp car. All right, we're here with Dominic, and uh, Dominic's going to tell us about this really cool gasser-style 55 Chevy. Back in 1972, I built this 283 55 Chevy. I used to race a Connecticut drag strip. And as life would have it, I was married, two children. I had to sell the vehicle. And uh, I always wanted to rebuild this particular car. So about two years ago, I found myself a 1955 Chevy. I brought it home, and a friend of mine was driving by my home. And he happened to see that I was going to build another 55 Chevy. And he knew me from 1972. Amazingly, he told me that he knew where my original motor was. Ooh! It happened to be two towns over from where I live. I went to the gentleman's house, I looked in the basement, and there was my 55 Chevy engine, 283, bought out to uh, 292. And I knew because it had dome pistons, and when the engine was rebuilt, it had the original uh, gentleman's name's initials on the crankshaft, so I knew it was my original mode from 1972. Uh. So this particular car here is a duplicate of what I had back in 1972 with okay. the original motor. Well, that's really cool. So it doesn't look like you race it. No. <laughs> it's kind of too nice to race now, right? Not anymore. Too much yeah. money involved. So what did the uh, what did the original car turn? The original car was turning 13.0 and a quarter mile, 118 miles an hour. That's good for a big car. Yeah, 513 rear end. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was good. It was very fast. Back in the day. Yeah. So this brings back the memories. It does. It really does. Well, thanks for taking the time, Dominic. Uh, I, I appreciate learning the story of the car because that's what I'm all about. Very and uh, people seem to like it. So uh, we're having fun. And how, how bad is that, going to car shows and talking to people about cars? It's a lot of fun. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a Triumph. I knew that because there it says Triumph on a valve cover and the cam cover. What a really cool little car. Never seen one. A cool Roadrunner. Bench seat, four speed. Lift off hood. Red line tires. Cool car. All right, folks, we're here with Dennis, and uh, I walked around the other side, really cool little coupe, and uh, Dennis says, did you see the seat? So uh, then I walked around to this side, and I'm like, that is wicked cool. So tell us about the car, Dennis. Well, I bought the car a couple years ago, and it's pretty much the way I bought it as far as the color and the paint and all of that. Okay. But um, my wife had trouble getting in because of the running boards. Sure. She couldn't back up close enough to the seat comfortably so I put a grip handle to help her try and pull herself in okay and she still had trouble sure so I went to uh, a mobility outfit that um, they sell a brawn mobility seat yes and I tried to have it installed and because of the year of the car they didn't have a kit right that would just bolt in and so they couldn't help me Sounds so like they just I, uh, didn't want to do any fabrication. Yeah, they, you know, they, they have the parent company, I guess, that yes. says it has to fit the car because we have to give you the kit and this and that. Right, okay. But when I showed, everybody came out to look at the car, and the guys, all the mechanics wanted to do something, but their <laughs> hands were tied pretty right. much. So I hunted on the internet and found a, a unit that was just taken out of a car. And it was from the same company I tried to get them to put in it. Sure. They installed it in a, in a Toyota Sienna. Yes. And they uninstalled it. Okay. And this guy had it sitting in his trailer trying to get rid of it. So I picked it up without knowing how to wire it in, run it, program it, or any of that, and uh, did it myself. There you go. I integrated my passenger seat onto the unit. Oh, I see. Okay. So it matches the other seat. I noticed the upholstery match. I yeah. just thought you reupholstered the seat. No. Nope. Okay, no. So it, that's awesome. It, it, it raises up. It, it, this, this is a 15-inch lift. Okay. And it goes back in about 20-some inches. Wow. Then it rotates, and then it can go forward and back. 
Well, that's really cool. And uh, I did it the hard way. Did it the hard way, but it shows, yep. and it and uh, that's really cool. This is the uh, remote. And now you can go out cruising with your wife. Yep, it'll lift 350 pounds. How cool is that? Well, I'm sure this is going to be a big hit because I'm going to bet, and I'm not a betting man, but I'm going to bet that there are a lot of people out there that wish they had something like this and never seen it or heard about it. Yep. And uh, kudos to you for getting it done, and uh, thanks for sharing it because, again, there's going to be, I know, there's going to be somebody out there that's going to see this video and, and, uh, and be thankful for something like that. Because none of us are getting any younger. Oh, believe me, <laughs> I know. I'm just glad I was able to do it for her, so she enjoys going out in it now. You know, Absolutely. It isn't so cumbersome. Well, that's really cool. Well, thanks forward. for telling me the story and showing me how it works. That's awesome. Continued, uh, continued good health and enjoyment with the car. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. So, 53, right? 53 Chevy Bel Air. Says he saw it, he liked it, and he bought it. It's just that simple sometimes, folks. Get yourself out there. Get an old car and have some fun. Walk around the other side. Pretty turquoise color. Big wheels. And the interior. What more could you ask for? Giddy up go. That's awesome. Nice red C4. Little uh, MG. Chevy pickup. And a Figaro. It's a Nissan Figaro. Right hand drive. Cool little car. I'm sure you. I've met the gentleman that owns this. Unfortunately, he's not here right now. But it's a cool little car. And the top folds down. And a uh, fun little ride. I gotta get better at uh, just walking around with uh, the camera rolling because uh, I miss too much otherwise. So, a little Fiero. A grabber, a maverick grabber. Isn't that cool? And a Chevy pickup. All right, folks, we're here with Jim, and uh, Jim's got this really cool little dart, and uh, I got a thing for darts, so uh, tell me about this one. This has got a little bit more motor than mine has in it. So, it does uh, have a little bit, but it's a 68. Yep. It's what's called a post car. It's yes. a sedan. Okay. So the roof is two inches higher than a hard top. Oh, really? Okay. And it has the post yes. there. Mm -hmm. um, originally six-cylinder, three-speed on the column. Okay. It's now a 408 stroker automatic. Oh, okay. Um, it's, and I'll give you my story. Sure. The, this is my son, Zachary. Hi, Zachary. And nice uh, to meet you. when he was born, I had a 68 Dart with okay. a 440 in it. Oh. Um, and then life came and bought a house and yep. had two kids and all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Life happens, as they say. And then now he doesn't need me. And, yes. And uh, so I picked this up from a guy that was building his dream car and got three quarters of the way through. And got engaged buying a house and it sat for five years okay and I saw it at lunchtime and bought it on my lunchtime there you go and then it took me probably a year and a half to put it back and put it all together okay so you've had it together for how long now uh, two years two, two three years, years. Yeah. so you've been out and yeah got, got the bugs out of it and you cruise it and yeah no I enjoy it have a great old time I enjoy it well thanks for telling me the story that's really cool uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad you've, you've seen the channel already, and uh, that's have. awesome. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, now you're a participant in the channel. I so appreciate there you it. Go. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Can't find the owner of this one, folks, but it is really sharp. 69 GT500 Shelby Mustang. Been restored. 
through the absolute nines, all the markings, correct decals, and uh, it's really cool. 428 Cobra Jet with a white interior, and yes, that is a four speed. Really cool car. I'll come around and take a look at the back of it because I know the back is pretty special too. The center exhaust. Big old Galaxy. And a big old Pontiac. Bonneville. Sharp. I'm gonna guess that this is a 36 Ford, just because I don't know any better. But I think that's a 36 headlights. Big block Chevy in it. Lots of gauges and buttons and switches. Yikes! Hold on to this one. Flames and huge. Meats on the back. What a beautiful 38 Buick. Straight eight. Again, I don't see the owner around. But uh, rumble seat. There's the steps. Step one. And then step two. And step three is in. To the rumble seat. There you go. Chevy four door, the 69 GTO convertible, and a 442 coupe. And I gotta show you the interior on this GTO convertible because it is <laughs> stunning. White seats, the dash with the 8 track player, and a four speed. Yeah, I'm gonna read that one close. It says five. A little bit of extra drive and overdrive makes it a nicer driver. Cool. The 67 Chevelle. Another Volkswagen thing. I've been seeing these all over the place lately. They're cool little things. And the iconic 57 Chevy Bel Air hardtop. Uh, restored original interior. Isn't it beautiful? All right, folks. That's a wrap for tonight. Thanks for watching. We're down here at the Beef Barn in uh, North Smithfield, Rhode Island, off the Pound Hill Road exit off of uh, Route 146. So uh, get yourself down here on a Tuesday night, folks. It's a really great cruise. They pack the place, and uh, there's a real ton of interesting cars here tonight. So uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, click the like button, hit the subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and uh, you'll be notified of uh, videos that I put up in the future, because I've still got some really cool stuff planned, and um, you're not going to want to miss them, because uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks again, folks. I appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the, the, this video, check out the channel, and uh, check out some of the other videos. There's been some really great content up so far, and some awesome stories, because the stories are where it's at. Thanks again. Get your cars out. Enjoy them. Let's go car cruising.